the head of research, Shalendra uh, Prasad, the head of soil chemistry, uh, senior staff from Ministry of Agriculture, uh, senior staff from Ministry of Waterways. I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Mr. Sant Kumar, uh, former director of extension. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will not to you all. Uh, on our calendar, not only agriculture, but uh, other ministries that I look after, and also other ministries, every ministry's calendar, there are certain important international days. Um, for example, International Day Against Gender Violence, International Days for Teachers. So every ministry has a dedicated day for different, different issues. Reason being that these issues are critical for that particular subject area, whether it's education, whether it's women, whether it's children, environment, waterways, and agriculture too. And we have got a number of dedicated days, dedicated by United Nations, UN dedicated days. They're against desertification. There's a lot of desertification happening land desertification and degradation. So uh, Agriculture Ministry has a number of days. Uh, Ministry of Environment has a number of days uh, dedicated. The reason for these days uh, to be dedicated for that is because that particular issue is critical. So then what do we do on that day? Right? What do we do on that day? That day has been, UN has given us to use that day and justify to the ministry and government that we need to do some, something on that day. Right? So, important thing, there's a number of things we need to do on that day. One is talk about that issue. Talk about that issue at national level. We've got the day, the calendar. Talk about that issue on, on that day generate interest, interest among the rank and file. In particular, the younger generation. I just want to take a, you know, uh, aside. Um, in littering, littering, who are the people who do littering? It's not the children. Not the primary school children or the secondary school children and the university students. It's the adults is the adults. These are the most difficult age group that we have to deal to convince them that they should not throw rubbish on the roadside, alongside the beach, or unwind a window and throw that garbage bag full of rubbish while you're going to work. In 2017, prior to the election, Wailuku community called me over. They were saying, those who are familiar with Waluku, as these uh, the commuters are going to work early morning, so when they come up that uh, unwinding um, road up the hill, they will unwind the window and they'll throw the garbage bag you know, uh, on, the, on the cliff. So the problem is that we need to, um, so for that we need to deal with that particular generation. But, it's important that we have a national movement on that particular issue. So first of all, we recognize on the day that there is this issue. And then we have discourse, you know, national discourse. Why don't we have a lift out today in the paper? We paid a lot of money to have that lift out. And interestingly, I just came from a function at uh, Rasas, and there is this cleric, Cleric who, came and, cleric who came and did the prayer, Mufti. And he mentioned about that article. Who was there? Sandeep, you were there. He read that article. And he quoted that article. And he said, today is International Day for Soils. And, uh, and he talked about you know, soil degradation and loss of soil visibility. And he, he quoted the article, today's article. So it works. People are reading. Now, if schools were open, or if schools are open, yeah, 12 and 13. But if all, all the schools were open, we could have sent a message to all the teachers that take out five minutes and read out that article to your children and talk to them about it. 
The reason why we want to capture these children is because the moment we capture the children's minds, then we are capturing the entire generation. You know? And that's why children are very conscious about liter uh, against littering. You know, when, when the adults are throwing, they'll say, no, dad, don't do that, hey, don't do that. So today we are here to talk about, and hopefully we could have done better if we are not uh, you know, just coming out of the pandemic, we would have planned it better, to have this in every town, every extension <coughs> office, all, all the stakeholders in the town, whether it's Sabsavu, Mbua, Lombasa, Sengutoka, and talk about and involve the schools and involve other you know, NGOs, etc. talk about what's happening on the ground. What's happening? We are mining our soil. The very foundation of agriculture, we are mining on a daily basis. This was not the case, ask Mr. Kumar, uh, 60 years ago, 40 years ago. Agriculture practice was quite sustainable then. You hardly see contour farming. Hardly see contour farming nowadays. We have now made agriculture quite, quite unsustainable and very worrying. So ladies and gentlemen, this day is dedicated to one, really question ourselves, your team, Hmm? with the master's degree, with bachelor's degree, etc., get out of the textbook. Get out of the textbook and question yourself, what are you doing? What are you doing to halt? I've said to peers, I said, look at the, uh, the, the land management unit that we have. What are they doing? They're taking pineapple and planting, take it, same old thing, same old thing, year in, year out. When the problem is increasing, look at solutions from a different point of view. Come up with some smart solution. Tell me, have we done something big about you know halting this issue? So, this day, when you go today, have your shower, when you hit the bed, think what new you can do from tomorrow to deal with this issue of uh, declining soil fertility, soil structure, soil condition, and decline in soil. Good microbial um, you know activities happening. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I do hope that we'll take this day and. Uh, rethink and re-strategize and come up with some solid proposals. I'm happy to look into it. Thank you, Naka. Happy Service Day.